In this session we're going to look at our point of sale tender setup. So we're going to say utility setup, pause, tender setup. These options that we have here will be the method you select when you receive money from a debtor. But let me show you. Let me show you. So if I go to point of sale, cash sales. And a customer or a debtor buys an item from you and they now pay you. So you've got to specify the medium as to how they pay you. So as soon as I say F1, this is your tender media. So if I select cash, they give me 10 rand and we enter, that's your tender media. Now what we've got to do if I say utilities setup and pause tender setup, we have to or we can define where that specific tender has to go. For instance, what ledger. Now remember, I give free pause does not have ledger selection. But we will in the background still allocate ledger accounts. If we click, I just want to show you on edit. We will still require the ledger from you here because if you decide one day to upgrade, those ledgers will then automatically be integrated. Whether you go to IQ Pulse or IQ Business or IQ Enterprise, you will then have the full ledger immediately. And that's why we require it from you here, but it will be in the background. In other words, what do we have to do with our point of sale tender setup? We've got to make sure that all the tender medias are set up correctly here so that when we process a transaction under point of sale, we will be able to find our tender media. And that concludes looking at the point of sale tender media introduction.